Where is home? The first time you step into St. Mel's Catholic Church, you hear the familiar sound of metal ringing, the brittle and smoke of church bells always smells like home, always sounds like God. Like when you left Nigeria for Maple Lawn Longford to reproduce the better parts of your life here. You knew the familiar hands of God's people will always be home. The familiar voice of other Nigerians will always be bridge for safe crossing. How both held each hand of yours until Longford unfolded its embrace around you, Remu. Your name meaning good manners maketh a man, <laughs> good laughter maketh a home. And it didn't take long for your laughter to find its echo of rusty railroad tracks. It travels and shakes. Found home in Longford like your name. And how you both bend but never break. Even when tongues stumble your way through the vowels, your patience is consonant. Because you understand now that you two stumble through Siobhan, Sinead. How Gaga and Delta seem like distant cousins. You have your first child on these shores. Name him Kola Wale like his forefathers. Birth him into the interwoven fingers of your village between kind neighbors and church bells, between those whose skin tell stories like yours and those who simply know what it means to be mother. Let us raise the child, cause mothering is a job for many. What is community? If not the breath of one keeping the other alive, if not the bare roots tree that knows home is not in the soil but in its roots and your roots your roots stretch both far far and near now so you say when i die set fire to this body spread my ashes on both sides of this bridge let it spell my name in all the fractures of memories where I have lived. Like Delta, Nigeria, like Maple Lawn at 5 p.m. When all three kids come home, like University of Limerick dorm rooms with color, like the arms of my husband Kenny and in all his jokes, like Ireland and all the times it showed me love. Where is home? When a woman walks to your car and asks you how you can afford it, when she says, I'm Irish, and even I can't afford such a nice car, you realize there is no ignorance here. It is an acknowledgement of the fact that people know how things work, how things are, perhaps. And your voice fails you. Your words that used to stumble out of your mouth as easy as breath collapse into your lungs. You are speechless. 
the earth of new soil quakes and all your table starts to shake as if you did not know this already and the 5.30 a.m. train to work fills up except the seat next to yours and the empty hands hangs over the distance between where you are and where you are from. You pray for your children in the language too foreign for their ears and you wonder what home they will have to fall back to when the only one they've ever known is matchsticks and lighter fluids to all the crosses they carry. And you have to work twice as hard as everyone else. No, when even that isn't enough, when they make you feel like you do not matter, when you are invisible. No, when you are obvious enough to be ignored, pats on the shoulder as microaggressions seep through their fingertips. When home questions the adopted child, when all your siblings are adopted too, yet, somehow, your response is gratitude for the positives. Sometimes, your optimism stretches across time like, look how far I've come. A blanket, perhaps. A carpet with a swollen belly. I do not know how you do it. Is there a word for sadness and rage that burns underneath your skin always? But you, you set that fire to your belly and you move. Hope is the future we create with our own hands. When I ask you about love, you say love is sacrifice. When I ask you about flaws, you say flaws are human. When I ask you about Ireland, you say Ireland is mine as much as I am hers. So the next time someone tries to define your edges, to stretch your bones, to call you by a name that isn't yours and tell you where your home is. Remember home is love. Home is flawed, but home is here. Here, air, the clouds still heavy with promise, the ground still wet with history, the boy still learning what to do with all the new flowing through his veins, through her veins, who they are. Who we are. A black counsellor in Longford walks amongst her people. Today, that means all of you, all of us. That means she's both rainfall and sunshine to Irish soil. She's both muse and mirror. Monk and martyr, man and myth, painting new dreams on an old canvas. What it means to be Irish is earned as much as it is given, is sweat as much as it is blood, and Uremu Adejimi loves this land. She draws human around its edges and fills its gaps with hope. 
birthing three children into its hands and prays its touch is gentle. Recognizing her own fingers in Ireland's embrace, knowing if there is a problem then she is a part of it. If there is a solution then she is a part of that as well. That's what it means to be Irish. That's what it means to be at home. Not just where those you love are, but a place you learn to love, a place you shape, make a dent or two. Home is what you claim it to be for you. So set fire to this body. Spread my ashes on both sides of this bridge. Let it seep through the cracks and bless the soil. So I too become here. I too become error.